Yo guys, what is going on? Joshua Gata here, also known as Ecom Josh Cutter, and in this short little video, I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you why aren't your eBay items selling, and I'm basically going to give you my top three tips on to getting more sales. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So my top tip is product research. So let's do some product research. I did some on Walmart to find this product, and all I did was I just copied the title, and then I just headed over to eBay, pasted it in at the top there. And then I scrolled down and I wanted to look for the same photo. So same photo. And they're selling it for higher than the 109 on Walmart. And in this case, this person is. So I now know that this item is a good item to list. And as you can tell, they've sold 71 of these items. And um, yeah, they're making a really good profit off there. $40 profit around... Per one, sold 70 of them. You do the math on that, 40 times 70, you do the math. So that's not bad for just a one product. So doing product research is really key. And here's another little um, cheeky tip I want you to do is when you see this thing over here, the reviews and stuff, this indicates that this person is selling a lot of items and potentially way more items that are selling well. So you wanna click on their name and you just wanna click items for sale. And you basically just want to look around and see what they're selling and, you know, what's working. And to do that, you can either go down to here and go to sold and sold listings and you will see, you know, what's selling. But I don't, I don't normally do that. I sometimes do that, um, worst case scenario. But I just scroll down and see what they're selling. You know, this looks like they're selling chairs. They're selling quite a few items from Walmart. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go focus on this product that we found. So... Let's just go ahead and I'm going to show you how to list this product for profit so you guys can increase and get your first sale. Oh, that's not going to do anything good. Okay, we're going to go from here, bang, copy, paste. And so yeah, product research is key to getting your first sale. Um, so that's tip number one. Now, tip number two is optimizing and using eBay search engine to maximize, you know, reach and getting as much sales as possible. So the first thing you wanna do is click this sell under the image, sell now. And what it should do, it should bring you to this page where you can fill out you know, all the information on where you can get sales. And these, there are two big parts when trying to optimize you know, the, the search engine on eBay, that is using the title, making it a nice title, having good, a good product description, and optimizing this item specifics. That's how you're gonna get most of your views and everything like that. So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to the product page on Walmart and look for keywords that we think customers, you know, would search for. So let me cross this tab here. So we have wood storage cabinets, four doors, tall pantry, cupboard, vertical kitchen, organizer. So that's good, but we can always, you know, look around and find um, more keywords in the product description. Um, I think condensed would be a good word. Um, if C has those three characters, you might I might have to take something out that's not as valuable. Um, so you know, instead of organizer, I might just do condensed. So that's probably better. Um, but yeah, most people that are listing, they've already sorted out the title for you, so you don't really need to tweak it that much. And now on to the item specifics. You want to max that. You want to get this bar full. If you can get this bar full, it's amazing. So the color of this item, I believe it's brown. Um, they have other colors as well, but um, let's just stick to one color and one variant item. So let's just go ahead and use brown and bang, that thing's full. Now more buyers can find your item, item specifics improve chances of selling. So item specifics is really key if you want to get your first sale and put this in front of customers. And the th thing is, the reason why we are filling out all these, you know, making the title nice and neat and making it all descriptive is so then we can get impulse buyers. You might be wondering what an impulse buyer is. An impulse buyer is basically someone that, you know, is searching for a product and this is, they find, you know, exactly what they want and they just buy it right away with no hesitation and then they just buy it and then you direct, obviously ship it out to them. So fill out some stuff here. Most of this is filled out, but some items that you list won't. So you might have to do some research, but the more you can fit for this, the better. Obviously, I haven't, don't have to do much for this. Um, so yeah, that's good. Now for the item description, what we want to do is just go to the Walmart and we just want to basically scroll down to the bottom here and we just want to copy these product details. So basically, once we copy these product details, we want to remove the brand name. So Mainstays is the brand of this product 
and eBay don't really want us to be selling, you know, branded items because that's against the policy, but you can simply just remove it on here and then you can drop ship it on Walmart from that main stage brand. So it doesn't matter. Um, the customer's still getting the exact same item um, and the brand is not there, so you are safe. So wherever it is, you know, just take it out and yeah, tweak it a bit so then it looks nice and clean, nice and neat. You don't need to do too much here. Um, so yeah, that is basically, those are the top two tips. And now the final tip I want to share with you guys is uh, pricing items correctly. So in order to get your first sale, obviously as well, sorry, I'll just touch base quickly. Um, you would obviously add photos and stuff. And then once you've done that, you can just go ahead, fill out the pricing down here. So for the price, like I said, pricing items key. I would honestly, because it's 109, I would just go 115. You'd be like, Josh, that's only... That's only six dollars profit yes that's true but we want these things selling it doesn't matter i prefer to when like you know when you're selling out getting your first sales we want to focus on breaking even we don't even want to focus even making a small loss is fine because we just want to get that first sale and then once ebay see oh okay we can trust this guy you know he knows what he's doing he's selling items you know ebay's reputation is on the line so we want to make sure the customers are happy you know once we fulfill orders adding tracking numbers and everything like that so we want to make sure that this is going smooth and ebay like that so then you know as you start off as a seller you're going to have low um selling limits so you just want to make sales so then you can increase them so yeah i would put it at 115 and then you know get sales and then you can always change the price and you know make it that 150 so you're making that profit but we're just doing that at the moment so then you can get your first sales and then you can list a bunch more items and then you're basically just going to go up from there think about this as a long-term thing you know you have to you know break even sometimes it's fine just to get that selling history up get some positive reviews and then you basically your account is going to go up from there and then basically you sort out everything like this. This is not doesn't matter too much. Doesn't really matter what you put here, as long as it matches the shipping speed on um, Walmart. So this is you know very fast. You know one day shipping. That's crazy. So it doesn't even matter. You can do any of any shipping services um, and stuff like that. But yeah, basically once you've done that, you just go ahead and list the item. So that is basically you know how you're going to increase your sales. I really hope this video helped. Um, I know I maybe spoke a bit too fast or maybe it wasn't clear up, up anything, but comment below if you have any other questions and anything like that. So to recap, to get your first sale, we want to make sure we're doing product research correctly. You know, finding that product is key. Using eBay's engines, you know, adding the title, adding the photo, adding the um, item specifics, adding the description, and then pricing the items correctly. Remember, it's okay if it's your first, you know, even three items, you're just breaking even just to get your selling history up. And then you can always profit on these items later. Because if, if people see like these are selling, right, they're going to go onto your listing, right? They're going to go onto your listing and they're, oh, pe people are buying from this guy. They must be good, right? So that's what I just recommend. And um, I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if it does help or if you have any other questions and other video ideas that you guys want to see that you are struggling with. Um, so yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, posting weekly content now. Drop a like and yeah, I will see you guys in next week's video. Peace.